You and I must make a pact. We must bring salvation back. Where there is love, I'll be there. I'll reach out my hand to you. I'll have faith in all you do. Just call my name and I'll be there. And oh, I'll be there. To comfort you, build my world that's dreams around you. I'm so glad that I found you. I'll be there with a love that's strong. I'll be your strength. I'll keep holding on. Oh, no. If you should ever find someone new, I know he better be good to you. Because if he doesn't, I'll be there. Don't you know, baby, yeah. I'll be there I'll be there Just call my name That's enough I'll, And I'll be there All right Good morning Good afternoon Good evening, family I thought I'd sing one of those songs from my youth today um i just want to wow let me first say this there's been so much couple news going on for the last couple days that you know i really want to handle this information as sensitively as i possibly can because i have a lot of love for uh brother rizza and I have a lot of love for me alone. So I think I'm going to talk about Riza Islam. And what's important to say about the whole thing, first and foremost, I don't know either one of them personally. I know I did spend a considerable amount of time in my youth, in temple number three. And I also know that Riza was a member of the nation for all his life. So all he knows in terms of organized religion is the nation of Islam. Okay? Whereas myself, I had the nation of Islam and I also had the Pentecostals. Okay, and I had to play both sides, remember? But anyway, enough, it's not about me, it's about them. Um, I, I was kind of taken aback because the first thing I wanted to know is I don't know the lady that's, that's involved. I don't know if she's an MGT. It just doesn't strike me as that type of situation. Simply because it seems like in any organized training, most women are taught not to put themselves in certain positions with individual males. I don't care who they are. Okay? So unless you had a motive and you meant to set somebody up or, you, you know, I, I can't understand for what reason, if the rumors are true, that, and I don't, Allegedly, you were laying in bed with him, and you guys, and I guess 
he decided he wanted to have sex and he took it too far. My thing would be, it reminds me almost of a Khalid situation. Because why in the world would you be in his bed and then refuse sex? And I said it. That's exactly what I mean. I know a lot of y'all mind going to be mad at me because y'all believe no means no. You don't believe that you have any responsibilities to your own self and to other women and to uh, your, your partner. Having respect for yourself is that if you don't want to have sex, you should even put yourself and be in that situation. Whether it's 2 o'clock in the morning, the only way you should be there is if you're an Uber driver dropping off some food. Okay? If you're drinking or if you're in an uh, intimate situation with a man and it's after hours or if it's just you and him alone, I don't think that you should act expect a man to act like a, a a woman not if he's a heterosexual man now if you're a heterosexual woman and you know that you're a heterosexual woman why would you put either one of y'all in that type of situation and to make matters worse now this man has been accused of eating grapes I don't know if you the same kind of sister that was sent to my brother Khalid. I don't know because I don't know you. But I do know that if you were somebody that grew up in the 70s or 80s, you were taught better than that. Especially, again, if you had MGT training or if you was a member, part of, member for a long time, as long as RZA then you would know better to put either one of y'all in that type of situation. Now y'all are both embarrassed, and I would say him more than so to you, because the fact that it leaked means that you can't keep it in-house now, and somebody's got some expectations from you or him to answer this particular question. You see, I'm doing a video about it. So... My prayers and my heart go out to both of y'all, first of all. You, young lady, for being in a situation where you had no business being at, and every action that we have is a reaction and, or, and a consequence. And hopefully you done learn from this because you have either some explaining to do or some truths to tell. To my brother Rizza, um, I hope this is something that you get past because that's not a good stigma to have on you. And that's what you get for listening to Corey. <laughs> I should have said that part. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm laughing, but I'm not making light of the situation. I'm and bo I have both of y'all in my prayers, so I didn't want to stay on here long. I just wanted to make a comment about this situation. So, with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.